the buying mood of Magic players is beginning to shift. Players are starting to take the bait and are biting on these cards. The singles market is now starting to shift. Welcome back everyone. MTG Moxman here and thanks again for hanging out with me on my channel today. There has now been an upswing in the singles market for Magic the Gathering cards. The player base is beginning to buy again. Now the sales this week are a little bit higher than normal, but it's the overall trend of cards that I follow that showed a massive uptick in the singles market across a broad range of cards. Now, Sundays, we have our Hot 10 Reserve List cards, but this is the Saturday regular edition, and there's a lot of new cards that made it onto the list that have never been here before. This is a very interesting little situation we have developing as players have begun to really start seeking out some cards for their collections that obviously can be, be you know, they can be reprinted, but the sales prices are dragging players out, even like, even players I know who are not very fond of buying singles have said the prices are just so low right now, it's a great deal. And when players see a good deal, they want to get their hands on some of these cards. It's a real shift in what's going on in the last 30 to 60 days we've seen on the market where a lot of things have dried up. The sealed market is still down, of course, but the singles market seems to be gaining even more momentum than it has from the previous last couple of weeks. So let's go ahead, let's count it down from number 10 to number one. These are the hottest selling cards this week in Magic. Starting out at number 10 this week is Modern Horizons 2 Imperial Recruiter. 512 sales this week with a market price of only $5.19. This is a card that used to be as high as $30 to $50. It's all the way down in the basement, making it a very accessible card for any player who wants to get in on an amazing piece of Magic history. This card has been sought after for so long, but now with the numerous reprints, it has met a new bottom level, making it accessible to any player who wants to skip a McHappy Meal and get this card. Congratulations, guys. It's right at the perfect price point. The number nine card this week is Belladros Witherbloom. Now, again, it's another card I never expected to see. Market price is $10.05. It's from Strixhaven School of Mages with 532 sales this week. This is an interesting card because although it has a heavy casting cost and it is a dragon, which is great for people who build those dragon decks, at the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 black and green pest token with when this creature dies, you gain one life. Pay 10 life, untap all lands you control, activate only once each turn. With all the recursion events and duplication effects, this card does have a lot of power added to it, and you never know where cards like this can become broken in Commander, so pay attention to it because somebody is buying a lot of copies, and that means it's a card to keep an eye on. The number eight card this week is, oh, I always, I always pronounce this horribly, Menark? Menmark? Menark? 804 sales this week. The market price is only $8.37. This is an original dark steel, so the foils do have more value at $38. A seven casting cost, four five artifact creature, which of course, don't forget, things like this can be duplicated and copied. It can turn a target permanent, becomes an artifact in addition to other types. And of course, one blue, three other gain control of target artifacts. So you can start taking control of your you know, opponent's stuff. Pretty nasty inside Commander, but with all the abilities now to replicate cards like this, like um, Urza, Prince of Krug, we can have some crazy game effects going on. Somebody's really taking an interest in this card. Multiple buyers from multiple ways that I didn't expect to see, but I was keeping an eye on a few Dark Steel and Mirrodin cards, and this one just caught my eye, but the sales were high. 804 sales. A real uptick from anything I've seen recently. Now, Number seven this week is the God Eternal Ronus. 1,389 sales. This is a much more typical sales volume we've seen in this area of number seven. But the interesting thing is it's not a recent card. This is from War of the Spark. Now let's take a look at this card. It's only $5.38 is the market price. It's a two green, three generic, five five with death touch. When the God Eternal Ronus enters the battlefield, double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn, those creatures gain vigilance. Guys, 
This is a devastating card for all the crazy stuff that has Trample. Keep an eye on this. I can see why some people have been picking up the card building decks. And let's face it, it's had a real downsurge, a real pressure put on it to lose price volume, which means it's a cheap card to get your hands on. It's less than six bucks, an amazing card to add to your collection. Number six, back again from Dominary United, is Jota the Unifier. 1,509 sales this week, December 10th to the 16th, with a low market price of $3.70. Um, a great card, has lots of good game effects, and the more legendary creatures they put out there, the better this card's going to become as a commander to be played with. I've tried using it a couple times in standard, it has not worked out, but again, you can tell it's meant to be used in commander, so I said commander. Commander, pardon me everyone, it's, it's, it's a Saturday morning, I'm tired, I'm working it out. I'm waking up to eggs and bacon after this, you guys know where I'm at. Let's go ahead and take a look at the number 5 card, and that is the Third Path Iconocast. Um, 1,826 sales. Again, getting closer to regular volumes, which shows an uptick in sales volume overall. The market price is $1.68. This card does have a lot of playability. And again, look what it's making. Soldiers. Soldier decks and all those crazy banding things we've seen come back are real fun when you put them in the right build and construction. Now, unfortunately, this is not white, so it doesn't do a lot for the decks I like to build with. But... Those players out there who like to play with the blue and red are having a little bit of fun with this card on Arena for sure because I've come up against this deck a few too many times recently with just the exact moment it takes to beat me. But still, a cheap card, great playability, a great fun card to have around. Now, number four is the Unwinding Clock from New Phyrexia. When we take a look at this card a little bit closer, you can see it's forecasting generic. Untap all artifacts you control during each other player's untap step. Now, what I like about this card is, again, the price. It went from 30 bucks down to 13 okay? And that's only in the last, like, year. So it's had a total collapse. Very cheap and affordable card for players who want to get in on this. And it's a great card to at least have one of for a commander deck. Number three, hanging in tough. 1,893 sales is the Haywire Might from the Brothers War. Now, again, we're taking a good look at the card. Remember... It's a one casting cost generic 1-1, one, one. but when it dies, you gain two life, and when you sack it, you can target a non-creature artifact or a non-creature enchantment and blow them up, and then, of course, you're still going to gain the two life. This is an amazing card. I've used this thing to block, sack, blow up enchantments to get my stuff back and cause all kinds of recursion events. A great, a great card. A great little jackhammer card that nobody expects. They should, but they don't. Number two. Uh... I uh, can't pronounce it. Torsia's Welcome. Uh, the Brothers War. 1,928 sales. And that's from December 10th to the 16th. Market price only $1.71. Again, not an expensive card, but a lot of players are using it because a lot of legendary creatures are so cheap to cast. Whenever you cast one or more creatures with mana cost three or less that enter the battlefield of your control, you draw a card. It only triggers once. But guys, it's a pretty cheap enchantment to get out. It can be splashed into a whole bunch of crazy decks. And there's so many cheap casting cost creatures, you can basically multicast in a single turn. An amazing card to have around. So we've made it this far. It's time to check out the hottest selling card in Magic this week. And that is Brotherhood's End. With a market price of $7.22 US, this card sold $2,103 this week. Okay, guys, let's take a closer look. Remember, this one's an amazing card. It's good. I mean, I like it already. And yes, I can see why people are playing with it. Two red, one other, sorcery. Choose one. Brotherhood's End deals three damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Or you can choose the second option, which is destroy all artifacts with mana value three or less. Guys, that card is totally devastating. You can see why people are using it. And of course, it's going to find a home in a lot of decks out there. Good cards this week. This upshift we are seeing in the market is definitely a well-received, you know, it, it's better news to see that players are back to kind of buying some of the cards they want to buy. They're taking an interest in deck building and construction, and it shows that players just want to get back to playing the game and having a good time. I'll be reporting on more of this stuff as the market shifts again. I think we're going to see another further uptick next week as we get closer to the holidays. So let's enjoy the time, guys. Let's have some fun with this Magic game. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing your comments in the comments section. Thanks again for hanging out with me. This is MTG Moxman. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. 
A big shout out goes out to all the fantastic patrons on this channel. That continued support you guys show me each and every month means the world. Thanks again for being there. You guys are awesome. Look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day, everyone. Welcome back, guys. You've made it to the end. The secret door that nobody opens and nobody knows about, but you're here. Here we have a pack of Journey into Nyx. We're getting pretty well, what, 2014? Let's uh, pop that up there in the 20K box because eventually we're going to get to 20K and it'll be a very epic ceremony when we get there. The party will start if we ever manage to reach 20K before I'm old and gray. I know, crazy stuff. Thanks for being here, everyone. Thanks for hanging out. You make it this far in the video, you've been at the after credits, you go ahead and you give me that big pizza in the comment section. Pizza.